The Center for Youth Studies presents For Tomorrow's Sake, a radio drama serial that examines how our attitudes, patterns of behavior, and lifestyles can and do boomerang for good or evil. Today's episode is titled The Enemy Within. It is written and produced by Shiyi Son Jobankole and directed by Joseph Ophili, The Enemy Within. No Jim. No Jim, what thing do you? Mustafa. Why do they cry like this? Mustafa. Eh? CBO. What waiting do you? Could be last week I just resume work from suspension. Uh-huh. You don't enter trouble again. Now nah, I take go lipstick. Powder and I catch him. Then find inside that my small bag. No Jim. You all don't finish for this clinic. Mustafa. If I tell go think say she get power for this clinic, she go no say God get power pass her more. Now that side you see, sit down. No Jim. <laughs> Make you go beg rookie before she come out Gary for your mouth. Wait till concern rookie with a tegu bad belly. Ha. The person we don't cause you don't die. Mustafa, you know no attack for this clinic. Oh. Mm. No Jim. Now you know no rookie for this clinic. Oh. Auntie, you always make me sound like an expensive ocean liner. You are in a class all by yourself, my dear. How are you feeling today? You came all the way from your campus to ask how I'm feeling. I'm so all the better for seeing you, my love. (laughs) (laughs) Here comes your devoted, self-appointed fan club president. Auntie Buki. Mommy! How are you, Mustafa? As I see you so, all my problems don't be crazy. Mustafa, <laughs> my mommy, mommy, <laughs> my blessing, you know, you're headed. <laughs> uh, you're picking, <laughs> that's a true salute again. Mustafa, you didn't come to see me at the shelter. Mommy, this is what born and lay about. <laughs> Will you stop there? You were made in God's image, Mustafa. God doesn't do junk. Uh, 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 now greet, I say, make a come greet, Auntie Billy. I'll see you before I go, Mustafa. Uh, more blessing and see me. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I do go come. Mustafa! <sighs> That's how he always runs off. There must be something God sent him here to give or get. Too true, my dear. I know you're itching to hear how Tanya is doing. I didn't want to be too pushy, Auntie. Tanya will be okay, Billy. <sighs> Auntie, is it true? That if Tanya makes a case against the maniac that assaulted her, his lawyer could turn the case against her and she'll be singing behind bars? Yes, he could, Billy. But Tanya could work hard at taking the man on. It's just that she doesn't want to waste time and resources making a case of this. She could have opted for the public defender. But, um, you know Tanya. Hmm. I'm so mixed up about so many things right now, auntie. Hmm? Billy. Forget what you know about her for now and concentrate on praying her through this season. Hmm, you're right, Auntie Buki. Tanya needs all the prayer we can muster right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Auntie Buki. Excuse me, Billy. Hello? Hello? Rookie! Rookie! No, Jimu. I beg, no put sand for my gari. Rookie, I beg now. No, Jimu. You, they beg me. Ah, rookie, waiting now. Waiting, waiting. Well, if she see you now, my own don't finish. Make you the go, job. You, you don't pay your dowry. Ah, which one concern you, concern that? The time when me, I they beg you, say make you come marry me. You, they play me, why you? Look, no, Jimu. Don't make you come go now. Don't look for me again. But for long, be on it. Okay. We said that we see you now. I don't know which side you can go. You know, medical director go vest if he see me for clinic here as I did suspension again. 
I no get money. So now money bring you come here. Come look for Ruki. Say be I be common wet. General distributor. Eh? Where you no fit money? Eh? Go meet him. No see how they go. I be at the Where you get crossy? I be not seven up. You get for yourself. Ruki, Ruki. <laughs> Whoa! Come over my side, yo. No cost kata kata for me. Tori alone. Ruki, I sick bad bad. I need money, I beg. Not only you are fit. Ngba na nka. Ngba otoku. Which one concern me if you even if you fall down and die now? Ah. Ruki. So you want me to die? Hmm. If you like make it go swallow gamma in 20. You concern me concern you. Ruki. Sorry, Billy. You were trying to say something before we were interrupted by that phone call. Hmm. It would be lovely if Sam, the guy responsible for my pregnancy, has the AA genotype and not AS with the dreaded S. Billy, do you know what the problem is with the S in genotypes? Yes. I think it's about the oxygen content in their blood being low. You're right. The oxygen content of the red cell is low. Hence, it adopts a sickle shape when stressed. They are commonly called sicklers. I'd like to suggest this is more from the sickle shape of the cell than from the sicknesses that plague many of them. Hmm. What a life. Bile, it is important you understand that people with the SS genotype can live productive lives with care and attention. Sort of treating them like eggs? No, just helping them to live with minimal stress. Stress is one of the major triggers of their crisis. So what's the stress those with AA genotype have apart from being prone to malaria? They have the highest level of oxygen in their red cells. Malaria parasites survive better in the blood with high oxygen content. But um, they are the best people to marry, whatever your genotype is. <laughs> Aunt Buki, you can't be serious. <laughs> of course I am. So those men who send their wives away for having only girls should actually be the ones sent packing. <laughs> Too true, Billy. You see, each cell in the body, with the exception of the egg cells in the woman and the spermatozoa in the man, contains 46 chromosomes. Hmm, I got that. And you also mentioned that 44 of those chromosomes control all our physical characteristics and body functions and that they are called autosomes. She was listening. <laughs> listening? <laughs> you were freaking me out, Antibuki. <laughs> you also said the other two chromosomes determine our sex. Did you get the part about the smallest one having the shape of a Y mm -hmm. and it's called the Y sex chromosome, while the other one has an X shape and it's called the X sex chromosome? Hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Then write this down so you can lecture your friends. Okay. Um, in each of the millions of cells in a woman's body are 44 autosomes and two X chromosomes. In a man, you have 44 autosomes, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So only a man has the Y chromosome in his cells? Yes. <laughs> I can see that frown, Miss Bilemus. Let me take that again. In each cell in a woman's body, are 44 autosomes and 2X chromosomes. Then, each of the millions of cells in my body comes with those 44 autosomes and 2X chromosomes. Correct. In a man, you have the same 44 autosomes plus 1X chromosome and 1Y chromosome. Hmm, I've got it now. Okay. In the male and the female, the sex cells do not have 46 chromosomes. By sex cells, I'm referring to the egg cells in the woman and the spermatozoa in the man. They have 23 chromosomes only. Wait, how do cells get back to the required 46? She's thinking. <laughs> the egg cell has 22 autosomes and an X chromosome, while the spermatozoon, that's one of the spermatozoa, 
has 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome, which is either X or Y. Mm. So when intercourse occurs and the spermatozoon fuses with the egg cell as fertilization, we get our 46 back again. Girl, you are a cheap off me. (laughs) (laughs) If the spermatozoon is carrying an X sex chromosome and it fuses with the X sex chromosome in the egg, Mm -hmm. you have a female child with the complete 46 chromosomes. But if the spermatozoon carrying the Y sex chromosome fuses with the X sex chromosome of the egg cell, we get a male child. That's how it is the man who determines the sex of the child. Hmm. I think a lot of men should be arrested and thrown in jail for the misery they've caused many women. If na abuse come abuse me, it go better make you come begin go. You hear Mustafa? Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, you don't chop. Oh yeah, I don't get any money. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess more money we go do for the two both of us. Ah, thank you, Mustafa. Will Kino agree give me money since all these days? Oh, <laughs> not Jim. See your life. Waiting. Now the person where one bury you, you go put your life for your hand. Stop him there. Stop him there, Mustafa. Will Kino be that kind of person? Najim, now Najim, what side do you go now? Hey, yeah. the person we won't die, don't jam the person we go bury him. You have been listening to the enemy within. Another episode in our drama serial, For Tomorrow's Sake. It came to you courtesy of the Center for Youth Studies. You had Adejumo Smart as Mustafa, Tess Kikelomoke as Bile, Tokbe Oshinaike as Buki, Ayo Ewebiyi as Ruki, Bolaji Olayemi as Nojim. For Tomorrow's Sake was written and produced by Sheyi Sonjoba Nkole, Glory Williams was sound engineer while Joseph Ophili directed. Email your questions and comments to Center for Youth Studies as in figure 4, Center for Youth Studies at yahoo.com or send text to 0808-272-0297 0808-272-0297 For Tomorrow's Sake is a production of Center for Youth Studies. Join us this time next week for another interesting episode of For Tomorrow's Sake.